The installation process of this 1000 watt conversion kit is fairly straightforward. Our new bikes feature specialty engineered down tubes that are square in shape to house the battery flush to the frame and also feature four bolt holes to precisely mount the battery to the down tube. The rear wheel is removed from the bike and the tire swapped from the stock rear wheel. The tire and tube are installed to the new hot motor rim. Remember to check the rolling rotation. The disc rotor and free wheel are installed on either side of the hub. A spacer is added to provide a little distance between the derailleur and hot motor side plate. The rear wheel motor is fitted into the dropouts and fixed in place by the two fasteners. The motor is now installed and it's time to attach the battery and controller. The battery is fixed to the down tube via three of the four bolt holes available, loosely tightened to allow for the controller fixings to slide underneath. With the battery cradle in place, the controller is slid in place between the frame and the bash guard. The hose clamps tighten the guard to the controller and the controller to the frame. The pedal assistant sensor clips over the non-drive side crank. The sensor attaches to the frame using the adhesive sticker and cable ties. The display is the final component that completes the install. The bar clamps are fitted over the handlebars and are fastened using the bolts provided. The thumb controller is fixed beside the user's left hand. A thumb throttle and motor inhibitors are included in the kit, but are not necessary to run the bike. Once everything is secure and tied, plug in each component to the controller. Cable ties can be used to tidy up the wiring harness. Your bike is now ready to go. Turn on the battery at the switch and hold the power button on the display thumb controller to turn the bike on. Enjoy your new Dillinger electric bike.